Being able to easily send payments online is one of the greatest conveniences of the modern era. Sending a payment instantly to someone online just 25 years ago was practically unheard of. But then, PayPal came on the scene and everything changed. Other companies have since emulated their services, but PayPal continues to be the leader in this industry. Welcome to Boss Cube. Today in this video, we're going to talk about the story of PayPal, so before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. As its 286 million active users may attest, PayPal has gone a long way in a short period. Although PayPal's history isn't very lengthy, there have been many ebbs, flows, and tipping points. Throughout its more than 20-year existence, in reality, when technology entrepreneurs Max Levchin and Peter Thiel launched PayPal in 1998. It wasn't even given that name, Confinity, a firm established on the idea of low-cost, nearly simple digital payments for customers and businesses. The company's original name as the internet tightened its grip on customers worldwide. The corporation was created and has its current headquarters in Mountain View, California. Cleverly targeted and underdeveloped, market banking and payments are the founder's concept, was straightforward and effective in exchange for quick and expensive payments to persuade customers to provide their email address, banking and credit card information. Within three years of becoming life, the company handled more than $3 billion in payments from 10.2 million individual consumers and 2.6 million business clients, small businesses, internet retailers and consumers all rapidly signed up. After deciding to concentrate solely on payments made over the rapidly developing internet, the founders of the company changed the name of their business to PayPal. Within two years, no one was truly concentrating on a digital payment platform between consumers and businesses. At the beginning of the new century, Thiel and Lepton skillfully exploited an opening in the payment sector. Why did nobody else notice that early? Retail websites like eBay used the US Postal Service to send checks and money orders from consumer and company payments which caused delays in product delivery and check clearance. It's unclear what the answer is, but the two PayPal founders undoubtedly cracked the code and established their business as the industry standard for online payments for years to come banking license and beyond with the acquisition of the EU banking license. In 2007, PayPal now has far greater access to EU nations. Around 35 million users were using PayPal at this time in Europe. With 15 million of those users being in the UK to have a major presence in Europe, PayPal simultaneously relocated its headquarters from San Francisco to Luxembourg. The strategic decisions made during PayPal's history have generated significant revenue and a sizable customer base. PayPal had another active year in 2007. Customers could now use PayPal to make purchases on websites that accepted MasterCard, but did not support PayPal's platform. Thanks to the partnership with MasterCard, PayPal had made $1.8 billion in revenue by the end of 2007. Now the parent firm sought to acquire the rival business, one of PayPal's main competitors, Bill Me Later, was purchased by eBay. In 2008, for a little under a billion dollars, a leading rival in the field of digital payments. With more than a thousand online retailers, catalogs, and travel partners in its network, Bill Me Later boasts a single payment process. From 2008 to 2018, PayPal kept growing, launching apps for iPhone and Android powered devices. In addition to adding more currencies, mobile payments reached $4 billion in 2011 and nearly doubled to $27 billion in 2013. Split from eBay and onwards, after a 16-year partnership, eBay opted to sever split from eBay ties with PayPal and replace it with the Dutch business AdYen as its primary payment processor. The information surprised me. The payment sector, despite eBay's insistence that it would be advantageous for both sellers and purchasers. In 2015, PayPal split apart from eBay. The business will continue to accept payments from eBay users until July 2023. That hasn't halted PayPal's expansion. PayPal announced in May 2018 that it was paying $2.2 billion for the Swedish payment company Zettel. Less than three weeks have passed since Zettel said that it would offer shares in Stockholm. Now PayPal will be available in 11 markets in Europe and Latin America. Soon after, in June 2018, PayPal paid $4 million to acquire HyperWallet, claiming that doing so will allow it to provide payment solutions to e-commerce platforms. Around the world, the history of PayPal shows the business is adept at accelerating expansion and providing clients with flawless service. PayPal has a strong network. Notwithstanding some difficult periods, the corporation has faced a profitable loop created for the payments company. As more people join PayPal and the service becomes more essential for retailers to accept, so that's it for. Around the end of 2021, PayPal's revenue would begin to be cut by half and with this came many more burgeoning alternatives while still Google, Amazon and Apple have all released some versions of PayPal services. 
whether it be Apple Pay, Google Pay or any of the other miscellaneous services and it's by using things. Like Apple Pay, these big companies have integrated their payment transaction methods into the greatest span of their company and that's why Apple and Google make it a lot easier to use their services than PayPal on their smartphones. For many years, PayPal was the only payment transaction method that these big companies relied on. But now it's becoming clear that PayPal is quickly losing their monopoly and they don't offer much else to the market. Now it seems like PayPal is negative, the effect in the market and instead of being user oriented, PayPal is now making the services less and less desirable for their users. Most notably, the old issue of security has cropped up once again. You see, in 2021, PayPal was so desperate to sustain its growth that it turned to a strategy that it had never used before sign-up incentives began. In late 2021, PayPal offered a free $10 to anyone who made a new account with the proper measures taken against bot accounts. This could have been a great move at first, and it did seem like it was PayPal suddenly had an influx of millions of new accounts, but a few months later, PayPal made a shocking discovery over four and a half million of the new accounts were fraudulent hackers around the world had found ways to bypass. So what have you learned from PayPal? When it comes to building a successful global brand, it involves creating human connections while staying innovative and true to the simple principles to create an amazing brand experience globally. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.